I'm here in Ohio and I'm here at the world's only juggling museum. It's an awesome collection and it's owned by my friend here, David Kane. Like rare props from everywhere, from all over the world, from the last couple centuries. All juggling props, this is like juggling heaven. way back to Francis Brunn, Lottie Brunn, Ernest Montego, Rudy Horn, Frank LeDent, Selma Bratz, Bobby May, Kara Salerno, Adonis, Trixie, Cardenas, Chris Cremo, John McPeak. This? So this is the original one, I think. And then one of these is the next one. In the this is a nice shape too. So see if you can do it. I can't. With three, I cannot get anywhere close. Yeah, I, I just saw the rest. Okay. Hey, you got you got to get the most important shelf of all. Aww. What's this? They were mouse sticks. It's been a ball in there. Oh wow. You should check out the club he, right there, that red club. He makes really good homemade props. Wow, that's it. Yeah. This is some kind of body you used on the big ones, right? Yeah, much smaller. That's it. Wow, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, let's go downstairs. You know, one time I stayed here one night. That was my version of one night at the museum. Look, the world's largest shake of cups. Look at that. <laughs> oh, no, I just got informed they're trash cans. Yeah, these are one of the earliest juggling clubs. He said, I always wanted to have giant fat clubs. I made them. He, I said, I, I, told, I told him they were going to be horrible. They were horrible. I sent them to him. I never heard back, but he paid me. <laughs> <laughs> they their bowling pin banks. Whoa. Yeah, those are hard, too. Right? Yeah, yeah. These are the world's largest juggling clubs. So you made these ones, right? I made them. These are so difficult. And these are the world's most difficult juggling balls. Oh, do those too. Do those too. They are possessed. This is the box that those magic rings were in. Ah. No juggler would do that. Would do that. <laughs> no, that's totally a magician. <laughs> that's totally a magician. <laughs> and it took four years for anyone to do it. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you first <laughs> that they can. I'm nervous. They can definitely be juggled. All right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Niels, are you drunk? I'm Niels Drunker. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And whose clubs are they? Anthony Gatto's club, but not their David Kane's clubs. Well, this has been the uh, tour of the Museum of Juggling History. And uh, this guy's been very generous to give me some things that are in the museum. And so I appreciate and David that. is always super generous with all the knowledge. It's yeah, it's great to ask him questions and just understand the tricks better and get inspired for new stuff to add to the show. So yeah, it's so awesome to be back here. I was here in 2015 and uh, so much things got added. It's really great. So uh, I'm looking forward to being back soon again. Now I know it's only five hours from Tennessee. So.